Dear friends in Jesus Christ, in today's gospel, Jesus is telling the disciples, not only the disciples, but also for us, you know, uh, if you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love. Uh, just as I have kept my father's commandment and remain in his love. So therefore, dear friends, uh, we need to keep up his commandments in order to remain in the love of Jesus. So how father has expressed his love for the son that we can find in the gospel. Uh, when, when he was uh, at the Jordan receiving baptism by John the Baptist, so the voice of the father heard from heaven saying, this is my beloved son with whom I am well pleased with whom I am well pleased. And again, on the Mount of Tabor, Mount of Tabor, uh, Moses and Elijah, they appeared to Jesus Christ and he was transfigured. And again, the voice of the Father was heard saying, this is my beloved son, listen to him, listen to him. That's how the God the Father expressed his love for the son. And that has been manifested to us uh, through the text through the apostles, uh, even to the apostles. Uh, first, firstly, it was manifested to the apostles, and later on, uh, the apostles uh, transmitted to others. So now we also know how uh, God the Father has manifested His love for Jesus Christ. So therefore, dear friends, you know, for our reflection, this is the main uh, point or main theme for us to take as a reflection. So if you keep the commandments of Jesus Christ, you will remain in His love. So, how we have, how we can keep His commandments? You know, uh, I read one of the articles from the book uh, "Thriving Spiritually." Thriving spiritually. I have already mentioned this book earlier in one of my YouTube videos. So, in this book, as I was reading, you know, it, this book is based on uh, every day's uh, reflection every day particular day like, like um, today tomorrow like that every day uh, one 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 topic uh, is given and under that topic some reflection is given so okay some reflection so one of the topic that touched me uh, i think it is connected with today's gospel so i am going to share with you now the topic is the stage is set for growth the stage is set for growth so under this topic under this topic what are the things that is coming there are two things that uh, Christians that uh, two things necessary for Christians to thrive in their life thrive in the sense to prosper to prosper in their life what are those two things so in us firstly in us to develop ourselves spiritually and then the spiritual resources uh, to help us grow this is the second thing the spiritual resources uh, which help us to grow. So first of all, we need to have the inner urge, inner urge to develop our, ourselves spiritually. And then there are spiritual resources available for us to grow. So it has been given to us through Jesus Christ, through Jesus Christ. So if I fail to grow, uh, that isn't because God withheld what I need to grow. Okay. So it is my mistake, my fault. So we, I cannot uh, blame God. So one of the person, one of the person, so this article it is mentioned, in that article it is mentioned. So a person is telling, uh, so he is unable to grow spiritually. He is unable to grow spiritually because of the circumstances. His circumstances are hostile to growth, for him to grow. So what is the circumstance? is having a nagging wife always nagging at him because he is always uh, committing himself to christian way of life christian spirituality so therefore this wife his wife is nagging always nagging you know nagging means like uh, saying something their mouth cannot be shut they will be keep on telling something something if you're a married married couple you will experience that not everyone experiences, but some of the families, even uh, they say that uh, uh, one of the great philosopher, Greek philosopher, philosopher, uh, Socrates, his wife was nagging always at him. So that's how he became philosopher, they say. So uh, his wife, in this article, his wife is nagging, nagging at him, nagging, nagging him. So the, that's how, you know, he feels very difficult to grow spiritually. 
and uh, and for that you know the solution also is given in the article that says that uh, see uh, the resources are given resources are given for us to grow but then nothing can prevent us to grow spiritually except except see everything resources free is everything is there everything is there we need to go and pick up we need to go and receive it we need go we need to go and obtain it but then what what uh, stops me that what stops me to receive that receive the resources except my unwillingness except my unbelief so these two things these two things not only two things unbelief mainly unbelief this will stop me to attain obtain the resources uh, that has been given to me through jesus christ by god the father so therefore i need to remove my unbelief remove my unbelief and take the resources to grow spiritually so how this is connected with today's gospel jesus is telling if you keep my commandments you will remain in my love as ja as i have kept the father's commandment and remain in his love so what are his commandments whatever he has said the 10 commandments are the two commandments particularly love the lord your god with all your strength with all your might with all your uh, all your hope everything and then love your neighbor as yourself so just keep up these two commandments in your life it is there commandment is there the resources so the, the resources is are provided to you now and then it is you you have to believe if you are with your unbelief you are following the commandment to commandments what happens nothing will happen to you but with your belief everything will happen so therefore let us have that belief and then surely uh, god will uh, you will remain in the love of christ so let us practice this in our day to day life God bless you have a nice day